Hello all you golf fans, this is Earl, and um, as I mentioned at the end of the British Grand Prix Daring Racers live stream I did previously, um, in the mail this weekend I got a nice surprise from out Colorado way. Uh, Play Games had uh, posted the, uh, the new Course Pack 16 for History Maker Golf, and... Um, what we're going to do here today, I thought this might be one of the better ways or a fun way to do this, is to take my card. I don't know why I called it. That's not my last name, but I guess it's a modified version of Tenacious. Tenactor. Earl Tenactor. And we're going to play uh, these two courses. I took the two that I thought were the most... Just, just a quick observation, what I thought were the most like polarized as far as like the toughest, which is, I believe, to be Mercury Sundial with the least, which is going to be Bluegrass Trace. We're going to do those back-to-back. -back. Hopefully you can see just how these play out, um, you, you know, and, and what you're getting. So, you know, you've got Mercury Sundial, which is winged foot. Uh, it's basically in the rotation of major championship courses. A bear of a course. Then you got Bluegrass Trace, which is Keen Trace, which is a tournament course that is used uh, in kind of like some lower prestige events on a, for one lower prestige event pretty much each year in recent years on the PGA Tour. So, and then the other two that are in the pack are, are Key Carolina, which is Kiwa Island, and um, Statue of Liberty which is actually Liberty National. Uh, Key Carolina is going to be tough, too. It's a, gonna, I think it's the PGA course this year, PGA Championship, which is coming up really quickly. It used to be that was a uh, like late summer event. Now they moved up here into end of spring. And then um, Liberty National is used in, usually in the playoff. So... Uh, you know, it's it's pro kind of like a, a middle to maybe slightly less than difficult. But I, I don't know. I haven't played either of those two yet. And maybe I, if this is popular, I'll do the same thing with the other two courses. Let's get into this. I'm going to take my personal card here, and I'm going to play 18 holes of each of them. So 36 holes total here with History Maker Golf. Okay, so here we are in Mamaronic, New York. Yeah, hopefully I said that right. Uh, I believe that's correct for Winged Foot. Uh, one of the three or four real quality um, major tracks in the New York area. Uh, you might even throw a couple more in New Jersey if you want to consider that suburban New York. But this is, um, this is one that routinely comes up along with Shinnecock Hills, uh, so winged foot. And let's get into this with the first hole with my card here. Let's just take a minute to mention that this card here has doesn't have the greatest qualities of all, but they have some good and some really bad. Now for like woods, and this is, I try to do this off of my own character, the way I play in real life, which is I hit the ball a long way. I can uh, shape the ball a little bit. Uh, I kind of learned that in my youth. It doesn't always work out, so I don't have any of like the legend or any of those kinds of designations on my wood qualities. And in my irons, I don't have champion, but I do have hero. I do hit some good irons. I also stone means you know sometimes I don't always have uh, those iron approaches the best. So I do have like a little bit of a detractor there. Recovery. I'm pretty good with that, but if I get to the green and I have a tough putt, you know, a putt that I need to make, I'm rust. I don't do very well with that, never have. Uh, and I've been at it a long time, so I have experience. I can hit, I, I remember a couple of years ago playing this par five and I hit like a, uh, a three iron to within like three feet on this par five and I, and I don't get to play very much. And it's just like, so I have, I have the, what I would consider a semi-dynamic quality. Every once in a while, I'll come up with uh, a really good shot. So let's get a move on here into this first hole at Winged Foot. Um, I'm not sure if I will, if I if I do add the uh, graphics, then that'll be great. I'm not sure I will because it might take a little bit of time. But 
Um, you can just imagine here that this is a dog leg left. Uh, the round begins with a rousing welcome from the toughest green on the course. So we, you can see not only daunting, but challenging. You're going to notice that this, like right off the bat, th the first several holes are just bears. So you not only get... so, And this is another thing that, that they've started to do, which is kind of neat. Um, it's not going to help me here because I'm neither soft nor laser, but you do get a couple of opportunities here with 25 or 26 to where uh, you end up with uh, semi-cordial instead of daunting. So kind of a way that they're trying to use the player's um, traits to inform the course a little bit in certain ways. So also has this uh, exclamation mark, which means if the course has control, which means if any of these numbers are present on the white die, the resulting regular phase pot, you know, from double difficult all the way to gimme has to be one, uh, one degree of difficulty more, more so. So if it says easy in the book, it has to become moderate. So let's go. Uh, don't have any, I don't think there's a ton of water on this course to begin with. Let's see how we play this guy. We're going to get a five. So we go to 12. That's going to be golf cam green. And of course, remember, it was a challenging green. And then so we go to the par. It's a par four. We go to the, the green five. Is it friendly? No. Is it challenging? Yes. Clutch putt for bogey. So already I'm going to have to hope for a one on this clutch putt. And it's a three. I'm going to earn a red chip. And now we go with an easy bogey putt, or no, easy double, and so I automatically get a six right off the bat. I'm already two over par. So, and you know what? I am going to do this a little different. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna use, that's not the way I do that either. I'm gonna use my other notation. I haven't done, I don't score with paper much anymore. So, but we're going to do an X for a bogey, and then you circle it for the double. So we're already in on a double. So let's move on to two. Long par four, 484 yards. Of course, this one was 451, which isn't exactly short, but 484 is like a, a par five. It's kind of uh, uh, you know, it's kind of like a convert converted par five in a way. So, uh, you know, just turn into a par four and, uh, you know, instead of birdie being the way it usually goes on this hole, instead it's going to be, you're going to have a tough time making par. All right. So iconic elm tree shades the green adding ambiance when approached well, but creating difficulties when not. So it says here, if you notice, note that the, that these results are, are inverted. And I think it's because they want to try and give this elm tree right here is their goal is to have a tree behind the green so let's see how we do here on two with five degrees of course difficulty and a red chip in tow i'm not in good shape here and there we need there's the one we need and we get another 12 so we're gonna be in the rough in two and a green three might give me a chance to make a par on this hole let's see rough in two and then a three. Am I? I'm not a workman, so I have a, a gimme putt for par. No exclamation point here. So uh, three dice for a par, and oh boy, we need three sixes to miss it. But we do make par, so plus two remains. Okay, to number three, par three, long, un, just under the 250 mark, which is usually the extent of a par three. We do get the warning symbol again, so again, that putt is going to be upgraded in difficulty. Again, five degrees, of course, difficulty. Again, daunting and challenging. And it, um, and for a champion, you get to use, you get to go from the sand to the green, which to me doesn't really help you at all because you're on a challenging green. I think I would rather have the sand shot because you might have a better chance at getting away with that there but let's see so 36 is going to be trees in one 
with a green six and I'm gonna get burned by the green six here and actually burned even more by the decider die not being a dot because we would have is it a mass am I a master and I'm not this time so goes to a double difficult putt for par and I am going to lag it up and give myself easy but I'm gonna throw this red chip in there to make it moderate and hope I don't get another six. Oh, and I do. So now, easy double bogey. And so two double bogeys at plus four. So might have been okay if I wouldn't have used the red chip, but that's the way it goes. Okay, so now the green isn't so bad. Neutral green. But, uh, so this is daunting with five degrees of difficulty. 467 yard par four as this murder stretch continues. Shaper, so here I would get a little bit of help here. It'll be semi-daunting for me, not daunting. So I have a chance to get a break if the decider die lets me. So 33 is gonna be golf cam course and I do get the decider die granting me a reprieve from the daunting hole because I can shape it. So. Green five, is it daunting? No, am I scatter? No, so I'm gonna have a clutch birdie putt. We already know clutch is not my game. I need a one to make it. Oh yeah, I made a birdie. Plus three, so I've tamed the par four fourth. And I get a blue chip. Maybe, uh, maybe I'm gonna get through this without too much damage, although plus three is still a lot of damage. Now, 502 yard par four. This may be your converted par five, or just just lengthened to the point of absurdity here. Uh, tight window from the tee with a narrow fairway. Again, this looks very similar to the first hole in its shape. Again, the green is if you got the 12, you wouldn't be in too bad a shape because the green is not challenging here. But uh, let's see what goes on. We've right, can we get us? Oh, and this is a oh boy. This is a special result. So uh, and because it's white six, we're gonna play it this way. So on a par four, we're gonna re-roll white and black. Twenty six. Beautiful shot. Give me putt for birdie. Golfer in the zone. Award blue chip after every hole the rest of the round. Wow. Okay, I'm almost tempted to not... You know what? I am not going to accept this. I'm going to take this as a par. I'll take my blue chip and that's it. Because I feel like that's... That doesn't serve the purpose of this exercise. Is to... You know what? What the heck? My gimme birdie. I make it. We'll, we'll play it. Let's just see how tough this is, even when I have this where I... So I gave myself the blue chip already after that hole. Let's see if we can get through this. And so this is a birdie. So back to plus two. And so I'm, I'm kind of riding high here, you know, a little bit. I got, got in the zone from the special result. And now we're going to just keep on moving. My correction tape. I just wanted to clean it up a little bit here. And um, yeah, let's see. So we're th through to a, actually a, a, a scorable hole and now I've got a couple a couple blue chips to use. Alright, so after having had my decider die drop to the floor and go who knows where I finally found it. And now we can get back to this, what seems to be a scoring hole, and uh, it is a short par four, 321 yards. There is some water on the second shot. Short par four, tempts golfers with birdie chance. That's not so attainable as it seems. The green is tiny and an unseen stream winds around it. The slope is steep at the left. So we don't have legends, so we don't get an extra couple spots here of uh, golf cam course, but hopefully it won't get a white five let's see oh we do 34 is gonna be golf cam course so green three on the par four is it cordial no daunting no 
we're gonna get a clutch putt for par and I'm gonna use both of these I'm gonna be getting blue chips as we go so I'm gonna use uh, actually I think we'll just use one we're gonna trust that we can make this one to three and we do so a par on the sixth so we earn a blue chip at the end of the hole because we are so we're still what two over two uh, birdies so far four and five and now par and now uh, this is a par 362 shortest par three of the day but tricky the narrow green is tough to hit and the wind effect can be misread uh, birdie is possible, but it won't be easy. We're going to go ahead and take control on this one. See if we can get back to plus one. So here is our die one. And let's see. So uh, three, four, five, that's a bad roll. And we're going to have a tough putt for par, I think. Miscalculated swing sends the ball past the green wedged up. Difficult putt for par. So another one to three. And we missed that one, so now moderate bogey. Avoid the six this time, and we do, but a bogey. So now I back to plus three, where it looked like we were going to be okay there. Not so much. And maybe, uh, see, if we had used that blue chip, we still would have missed the putt. That's one of the things about this game that is pretty interesting, is like, just because you improve something doesn't get you the result you're necessarily expecting. Okay, so back to difficult here, 490 par four, five degrees of difficulty, daunting, semi-challenging. They consider this the toughest hole on the course, uh, potentially, with uh, a lot of rough, as well as trees, you need a well-shaped shot. So uh, the shaper does get us a possible advantage here, but let's see if we even come close to it. So again, that means 16 because we don't have it's kind of tough to see that there, isn't it? Move the lighting just a little bit so you can see it's 16. So that's going to be in the rough in one. And so this is actually going to be a good result for us here. Rough in one and a green one. We're not workmen, so we're going to get a wow. So we'll get another blue chip here. And we're going to re-roll white. It gets us three. That's an easy putt for birdie. So we got this wow blue chip. We're going to use, let's use a different one. And so we're going to make a gimme and we're going to get a birdie here unless we roll sixes, which is always a chance, but we don't. So three birdies on the front. We've actually played this pretty well, but you know, we're also getting this blue chip every hole. And so we can take advantage on the back nine here, most likely. So we're back to two over. And we're going to play nine. This is a, a respite hole as well, a par five, which is direct. Either, even though it's 565, it's listed as direct. With the, with the new equipment nowadays, these guys are just, you know, DeChambeau is hitting it like, uh, you know, 350 off the tee routinely. So, long but it's wide open. Path is spacious, and uh, it's a, the green is also that way. Best scoring chance of the day. I'm neither soft nor champion, so I don't get any of the special spots. But we're going to hold on to those chips for now and see what we can get out of this. So it's going to be 1-1-4. One, one, I'm not gilded. I'm not cold either, so it's going to be moderate birdie. We'll go ahead and upgrade it to gimme. We've got chips to burn. Let's do it. And it is a birdie, so we're going to close out with... Uh, 36 on the front that's plus one so four birdies two doubles and a bogey so plus one so not actually not bad at all but again I'm, I'm getting a blue chip every hole which is you're, you're not going to get that way <laughs> and again it kind of um, I don't know maybe I shouldn't have done that because this is but this is also playing out the round, and it might, makes it a little more fun this way. But let's I'll tell you what. Let's let's play the back nine with us. We'll keep the two blue chips, but let's play the back nine straight up. So this is a 214-yard par three. Uh, 
long, difficult. It's got the caution symbol, four to, uh, four course uh, control factors. Famously described as a three iron into somebody's bedroom because of the house that sits behind the green, just outside the course grounds, it's right there, I guess. And uh, sharply sloping green with a narrow front and deep alluring bunkers. This iconic hole is very, very difficult. And um, let's go. 56 is golf cam course on this daunting hole. This is not going to help us at all. Six, daunting, yes. Clutch putt for par. Let's use a blue chip to make it neutral. Can we can we par this? Yeah, we do. So a par on 10. I'm afraid that having this little helper job is going to make us have a better score on this course than on Keen Trace. <laughs> okay, so four degrees of course difficulty, 384 yards. This is a not a bad hole at all as far as like difficulty goes. Um, we don't have any of the qualities to send this guy to golf cam green, but um, striking visual from the tee to spectacular rolling terrain, but this hole is nonetheless scorable. The 11th. So we're going to get control 135. Not a duffer, not puny, not utility. So it's right now. And right now we're semi hot. Green one will ask if we're cold. And we're not cold. We're going to get a birdie chance out of this. So we're not cold. Give me putt for birdie. And uh, we're going to get to even par. How about that? So uh, even par through 11 course aided by taking care of this uh, okay so here we go with you know using this advantage that maybe I should have just I was, I've been going back and forth about whether I should go it's funny how when you decide to make a video of something you always you're always gonna end up getting these little strange occurrences that create difficulty <laughs> dilemmas okay so uh, this is the other par five. Nine is easy. This one is pretty tough. Now this is a, a choice hole, so it's four degrees of course difficulty, 633, so a long par five, long, long, long. You choose whether to play it safe or to go for it. And it's semi-daunting. Trim some distance by shooting over the trees or take the long way home. So the safe is gonna be cutting the corner versus taking the three shot par five and uh, in this case, since we are bomber and all this stuff, let's just go for it. Let's throw caution to the wind. And uh, we're going to get a patient par. So the stars are aligning for us here. And we'll get a par. Doesn't matter. So stay still at even par. Good round so far. Another tough par three. Uh, we've avoided a lot of this junk with some luck and whatnot. Uh, I should potentially take control of this, but I think I'm going to hold on. The green complex feature features a mesa at the back, which, with a rearward flag position, rearward, rearward. Uh, the uh, yeah, the uh, so with a re the rear flag position makes for some tremendously difficult putting scenarios. So that's where your little caution symbol comes into play. So it's a two. So 15 is going to be golf cam course. We're going to get away with this. Three. Is it cordial? No. Is it daunting? Semi daunting? No dots. So we're going to get a clutch putt for par again. With me, I keep using these blue chips to at least make it a 50 50 chance and I get it again I am writing good fortune here so now to the 14th daunting and challenging 444 par 4 course is most difficult tee shot followed by an undulating false fronted green so a false fronted green means that it slopes off the front usually kept very firm and mowed very tightly short so if a ball comes up short it will just roll off the front and um, 
Again, we don't have soft here, so that's not going to help us. And we only have one blue chip now, so we're just going to have to play it out here. 56 is sand and one and a green six. So here is here is a bogey at least. All right, so sand in one six. Am I, I'm not sandy, so I have a double difficult putt for par out of this. So we will uh, lag it up. Easy bogey, and we'll drop the plus one as long as we don't get sixes. All right, back on the bogey train. So 15, 4, 26, another one that you uh, get a tougher chance here. Wondersly scenic, but all terrain beyond the mid fairway stream is undulating and unpredictable. Uh, we do get a a bomber so this is this is us we could find the stream with a 33 with the course having control semi daunting and the caution symbol is there and there's 35 we get away with that it'll be golf cam course but it is going to be daunting so the two daunting ask is it'll be a clutch bogey putt so i'm going to use this here and let's see do we make it again we do but now it's a two over, so we've made a couple of those putts. Just because I've uh, gotten the lucky break on the 50-50. 500 yard par four. Another bear of a hole. Dense trees hug the left fairway, deep rough lines the right. This thus a true tee shot is crucial. We're not legend, and we're not any of the other things, so pretty much the way it looks here on the card is the way it plays. A little dog leg left. 15 is, uh, well, we're not, uh, let's see. Oh, that would be scatter, yeoman, or I'm not any of those. So it's trees and one with a green four. Probably can escape with a par here. So trees and one. Workman, I'm not a workman, so it'll be a moderate second putt for par. Just have to avoid a six here. And we do. So still plus two, not doing too badly. Eight it on the front nine. I should have just left it go, but I, I just decided that getting those blue chips wasn't really giving enough of a, a display. So another 500 yard par four. These things just come at you and come at you more. Dog leg right. Brilliant, brilliantly designed hole in which there's no way to save a stroke. All approaches have pitfalls. A mounded severely soaping green adds to the intrigue. So five degrees of course difficulty. You want to hope for a white six and you don't get it here. 55 is, oh, we get a green one. So it's trees and one, but then we get a green one. I'm not a workman, so I'm going to end up with a wow roll. I'm going to earn a blue chip out of this and maybe a chance at a birdie. Let's see. It's a three. That's another easy birdie putt. And let's... Let's go ahead and make, uh, let's make a gimme. What the heck? And we make it. So a birdie plus one now with 18 to play. Could we finish even par, which would be a heck of a round on this course. So again, this one's not 500 yards, but it might as well be as it's again, physically and psychologically demanding finishing hole, rich with history, drama, and, and flair. Uh, we aren't sunny. Uh, and we aren't legend or champion, so none of these little notes help us out here. Let's see if a white six would be great. We don't get it. We're going to get 16, which is, oh, we get another green one. So it was rough and one. We, we may have a chance at a birdie here. We're catching the green die right where we need it to. So 16, rough and one. Am I a master? I am. Or wait. Workman, no. So this is a wow. Excuse me, I was looking at the wrong thing on the card. So a wow gets a blue chip and we re-roll white. It's a one. If we were to roll this again, it would be an eagle. Like I said. <laughs> so this is an eagle. We get an eagle. 
on the 18th and we're going to finish so one to so two three four three twos that's a 33 and a 36 69 one under par this is going to ruin my video you know <laughs> maybe what this is to show you is that you can have a decent round of course let's let's be real let's be real if we if we want to like let's take Let's take two of these birdies out. Probably plus one is the score we deserve on this. Maybe plus two. Because we did get some some uh, assistance here on a couple of these holes from that blue chip thing. But let's move on to Keen Trace and let's see if we can better this score. Minus one, a 69. Of course, this is a par 72, so we may not be able to get below 69, but we will see. So par four, 392. Plays easy, cordial hole, great chance for birdie to open the round. Although the sloping green can make for a frustrating finish. Only a five gives the course control. And we're gonna get another special result. The dice are playing games with me today. Let's see what this brings up. If it's 26 again, it's 36. Caddy suggests an alters golfer's game. Disregard choice quality the rest of the round. We're going to disregard this clut, rust putting thing. So uh, we're going to re-roll now. Start the hole all over, but we're not going to, we're going to just be neutral. Okay, so one, four, six, par four. So maybe this is a good way. So I won't have the difficulty of the putting being cra as crappy. But now I probably won't make any of them. But Legend or dynamic? Semi-dynamic with a dot. So I get a blue chip. Well, this blue chip, we're not carrying that over from the last round. So we'll just use that. So it's the gallery cheers. Green one is, am I, I'm not a champion. So I have an easy putt for birdie. So one to four. And we missed that. So uh, give me par. And we'll make that. So a par to start. All right. So we're to the second. With uh, par three. Uh, another relatively straightforward hole here. 187. Plenty of ways to get in trouble here. With deep bunkers collection area at the left. And a shallow tiered green. So let's see. We could use a blue chip. And my decider die goes off and rolling so let's see what uh we get control with four five five not a champion so we go to experience i am icon green five ass am i a uh, prospect and i'm not so i'm gonna get a moderate birdie chance so a one to two and we make it so one under par and i need to go digging for this uh decided I didn't we didn't need to take a look at it this time where'd you go there you are it was a no but anyway so back to th the course here in three so three degrees of course difficulty 462 so we'll, a, a long hitters will, can gain an advantage if they can loft the ball to the downhill slope and get some roll uphill to the green fairly uneventful for most we get a slight benefit as a bomber on this hole potentially but we're going to take control one or two five five not a legend not a hacker so we're going to go golf cam green and then the two friendly no challenging no we get an easy putt for par so we will uh hopefully make that we do on to four With extra thick rough at left and well-placed bunkers at the right, this 461 par four would be worse if it uh, if you miss the fairway, as you could find the water. And we've got two, only four and five gets us a chance at the water. Let's see what happens. We get a six, we'll take a blue chip and a par, and we'll move right on. Okay, par five. 543 it is checks all the boxes for easy par 5 double cordial friendly direct we get a bomber with a smart play uh, potentially if we roll the white five let's see how we go here 
We're gonna get two, four, five. We can go have control. Not a legend, not a champion. So it's gonna be. Uh, we're gonna to go to the short game check for stone. Yes, I am stone. Difficult putt for par. So this finally comes back to bite me. And let's see. Can we make a one to three? And we miss it. Moderate bogey. We'll make that. But that's going to bring us back to even par. So we bogey the easy fifth. Because we don't have any of those good driving qualities. Or, or iron qualities for that matter. Okay, so... Here is a choice hole, the sixth, par four, 423, three degrees of course difficulty. Uh, before we tee it off, we have to, and, and I, I love to always pretty much do the go for it. Carry the fairway bunker for a good chance at birdie. Usually these only, that this decision only makes sense or plays a part if you end up with course control. It's these question marks. Um, if you play safe, you just get a, an easy par if you land on those otherwise you could end up with in the sand as opposed to having an easy birdie putt with a decider you basically have a 50 50 chance if you go for it we're going for it and it's not going to matter because we get one one three and we get the white one so par four not scatter not hacker we're gonna have a moderate putt for birdie and let's hope that we can get a one or two here I, I don't want to use blue chips yet I want to use them on tougher holes potentially and we miss it so that was a moderate birdie easy par which we make so still an even par okay another pretty easy par four even though it's long 451 aside from the small fairway pot bunker there's every reason to take as big a swing as possible. Long hitters can score well. So this 33 converts for... Uh, actually, no, the 33 is trouble. Um, 14 and 23 turn to golf cam course for bombers, which we are. Okay, so 156. We have control again. Legend or bomber, we are a bomber. We'll get a blue chip in the gallery. Cheers, and we're going to end up with another easy birdie putt. We'll make it gimme. We'll take that. We'll try and hopefully make this a cinch birdie, and it is. So back to one under. To eight. Another par five. Uh... The green a little tougher than the other one, but still we have a very straight hole. But you got to watch out for the white five. You could end up in the water. Looks like a creek down the left. So let's see what goes on here. One, two, two. Par five. Duffer, no. Utility, no. Hacker, no. We're going to get a moderate putt for birdie. And let's roll with one to two. Can we get it? No, it's a three. Should have used, if we'd used blue chips on each of those, we would have been birdies up. But now it's a par. So we played the par fives and plus one, not the way you usually see it done. Par three, 205. Large greens and inviting target. We don't have any of these potential guys. We do have some water here on this 205 yard hole and we're going to take a blue chip and earn control of this to see if we can have a better chance 156 want to avoid water hacker gilded no it's going to be experience we're an icon it's going to ask if we are and sure enough we are icons so we get a moderate birdie putt i'm going to double check because i don't have this happen that often yep moderate birdie putt so we, we're doing a one or a two here, right? Nope. <laughs> now we get the easy par, which we make. And so that is a 35 on the front. To the back. I don't think we've had a single semi-daunting hole here. So, uh, but still, I don't have legend. I don't have champion. If you have a legend or champion on your card... This, this course is going to 
uh, just open right up for you. So 443, things to watch out for here. The fairway bunkers on the left, uh, 12, 13, 15, and 22. Patches of deep rough down the right. And a sloping green. So uh, you do get with some of these guys a little extra difficulty on that. But only two degrees, of course, difficulty. And we avoid it again, thankfully. Three, five, six. This might be... Uh, a uh, short game check. Let's see. Three, five. Scatter puny. No. Um, champion. No. So golf cam green. We luck out. Semi challenging green, but we get the decided I saying no. So it's not challenging. We get a clutch putt for birdie. And remember, we're ignoring rust. So let's play the blue chip to make us gold. And we do make it. So a birdie at 10 puts us to pl uh, minus two and now we go to another potential birdie hole long hole but again it's uh, still a, a potential eagle chance here if you get the right rolls another good birdie chance especially for long hitters and we are bomber um, sharp slope at the back of the green encourages a shot below the hole let's see how we play it here okay two three six again we don't get in the course control thing. Duffer, no. Direct green. It is direct. We're going to get a moderate putt for eagle. Unfortunately, we don't have a blue chip left. So moderate putt for eagle. One or two would put us to minus four. And it's a six. So that leaves us an easy birdie. One to four, please. And we get another six. Gimme par. And we're going to three putt this as exactly the way I would do it in real life. <laughs> that would be my way of playing that hole. So we we three putt and still plus, still minus two, but now a little tougher hole here. Uh, four degrees of course difficulty, four hundred eight yards. Club clubs down here. Oh, as it's an easy it's easy to drive through the fairway at the dog leg. So you you want to you want to take maybe a, a three wood or five wood or maybe like a long iron off the tee. Tiered green can lead to a tricky putting scenario. And we'll get a blue chip par. So we'll take it. One bogey on the par five fifth. That's a blemish. Shouldn't have that. Now another tougher hole. Four degrees of course difficulty again. Downhill from the tee, uphill to the green, but otherwise straightforward, no nonsense hole. We're going to get a little benefit as a bomber, potentially, here if we need it. Uh, you know what? We're going, to, we're, going to use, we're going to use that chip for control here. Two, four, six. Duffer, no. Champion, no. We're going to go to experience. I am an icon, so I will get an easy birdie putt. Will I finally make... One of these putts, I've been cold on the putting on the back nine, and I finally make one. So, there we go. Birdie 10, birdie 13. We're at minus three now. Starting to pick up a little steam. Uh, 209 par three. Solid swing is needed to clear the valley. But the green is shallow, and a deep bunker is well positioned to collect anything short. So here you go, 34 is that short bunker. Uh, we don't get any benefit from any of those guys there. And uh, we, uh, uh, you know, the white six is about the only positive thing on this hole for us. Golf cam course, of course, it's not daunting, so that's a help as well. Par three and then a three. Cordial no, daunting no. We get a clutch putt for par. We're neutral. Could get a blue chip if we make it here. Ah, we miss it. So we're red. And we're going to bogey another one. Easy bogey. And it looks like the fifth hole on each side we're going to bogey. <laughs> Alright, so finally the last par 5 on the course. 15th, double cordial and direct. We have a smart play choice. You can either choose to do gimme, birdie, or difficult eagle. If you land on any of these stars, which again, you know what we might want to do. Well, I don't know as you want to give yourself 
giveaway control of this hole because you have out of bounds over here too. And um and also for this OB though, because we're a shaper, we would actually get away with it. So that makes I'm gonna give away control of the hole. Let's see how this plays out. We might we have a chance we might just take the gimme birdie here and forget about the difficult eagle because it's So uh, 33 is going to be the smart play. We're going to take the gimme birdie and run. So hope for no sixes. Oh, and we missed the gimme birdie. We can't get a red chip because we spent one. But now the gimme par and we are we are a little snake bitten here in this round. Our putting has gone to the dogs. And um, now we're hoping that we can finish out this round somewhere at my, you know, minus two right now uh, would like to get to minus three but it's looking tougher and tougher with uh, this putting that is just gone we got we got every putt in the first round and we're getting very few of them here in this uh, second downhill from the tee some bite is needed to avoid the trees and the rough beyond the green uh, okay so icon gets us a potential benefit off 56 and off of uh, or no not 56 off of 36 and off of 22 uh, bunker to the right is deep and can be difficult to extricate from four degrees of course difficulty and it's 15 golf cam course green one cordial or laser no we're gonna end up with a clutch putt for par we haven't been putting well can we get a one to three no easy bogey but now we're now we're back to matching what we got on that round at winged foot and it just basically goes to show you the way that this game can just uh you know uh you can get a range of things here let's see can we can we get a be nice to finish out here with a birdie and at least get to, to minus two uh, 410 yards we have a split fairway so you can see they kind of try to do this here with uh, kind of like four down here and four up here the courses there is some water there water protects the green and could come into play from the tee with long or errant hitters okay three three six we haven't had a hero check yet and that's really what we would what would benefit us here we're not hot right now Semi-dynamic with a dot. We get an easy birdie putt. So, hallelujah, we get a putt for birdie here because we're dynamic with the dot. Semi-dynamic with the dot. Can we get a one to four? Yes. And we still have a red chip we've got to burn, and we're going to have to burn it on 18. And with the sixes, that's not going to work. So, 429 par four three degrees of course difficulty it is semi-daunting this is the last one you get and uh we can hope for a white six that would burn that red chip we may have to take a, a downgrade on a putt let's see so water borders the entire right side of the hole and most of the green bailing left brings bunkers into play so we see the bunkers here we see the water down the right um we get a shaper could help us here although the semi daunting makes that less so um let's not just automatically give the course control here 56 we miss we miss the water just barely golf cam course green five daunting it's not daunting scatter we're not scatter, so we've got a clutch putt for birdie. And we're going to have to burn the red chip to make it rust. So we're going to go from, because if you remember earlier in the round, we got to uh, remove a choice quality, remove rust. Now we have to add it back to get rid of that red chip. If we could have trusted we'd make a one to three, we could have just gone ahead and the blue chip we would earn for making it would annul nullify the red but if we get two reds that means ultra meltdown so we had to do this we're hoping for a one we get a four so we would have missed it but now that gives us the easy par which would put us at minus two and 
we make it. So that's a 35 on the back for a 70 minus two is our score. And so I would say effectively, there aren't very many rust cards just for the record. So now we did get a lot of benefit here too, I would say. And we also got up in this range, we got some. So this plus one is probably a decent adjusted score. Minus two is um, for having that rust quality. And you know, although we did ditch it, so that helped some. But you know, if, if you're making your own card and you put rust on there, I, I kind of regret doing this. I think semi rust is about the farthest you want to go because rust just puts you at a disadvantage for most around. And, and actually, you know, so early on, like one and three were affected by that some. So uh, we ended up with chips that we red chips that were kind of like daunt, uh, hanging on. So um, we actually did score a better score on Wingfoot, 69 versus 70, but par was two more. So we we do get a one stroke better on Bluegrass Trace over Mercury Sundial, but um, you can see the level of difficulty. This is the o 18 is the only hole on Bluegrass Trace that has any sniff of daunting nature whereas mercury sundial it's probably two-thirds to three-quarters are that way and maybe half are daunting i mean I, I haven't gone through and actually done the calculations but it's a lot of just straight daunting holes and a lot of challenging greens but anyway hope this was fun for you um hope you got to see some of the game here and anything that you may have uh you know if you have any questions about how to play the game we had uh, there are some tutorials that I've done earlier on in this channel's existence, so have a look at those. Um, so, So, and you know, we had some we had some remarkable stuff here. We had this uh, hole out from the fairway on 18 on Wingfoot, which is another one that's like, you know, that took 18 from being a difficult, difficult test to basically, you know, that, that, that's at least gaining two shots most likely. So, you know, this plus one, we could even think maybe plus three is, is a potential score. So... Anyway, hang in there, guys. Hit like if you like this. Maybe I, if, if you, if I get enough likes here, maybe I'll do the other two courses as well. And, um, or, you know, if you want me to replay this, and uh, I, I could do that too. Maybe having a couple of rounds at each of these will give a better appraisal of how this, how these courses will play out in the long run. But uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot for watching.